Hey guys, it's Thanksgiving, and um, if you're not in America, then it means that it's just November 22nd for you. Yeah, um, congratulations for living this long enough through the year, you know? I'm, I'm pretty sure you have a little bit of time left, so don't worry, you'll live through the rest of 2018. But yeah, that's what I was going to talk about. Uh, it's the end of November, because it's Thanksgiving, that's an indicator that it's the end of November, which means it's almost December, which is my birth month, and um, I'm turning 19 They're on my birthday. Um, now that would kind of maybe sound cool, like, oh, happy early, happy early birthday skit or whatever, but, um, my, my life, I've, uh, ever since I was like 13, 12, maybe, I'll just say 13 because I remember that was one of my more fonder years in terms of friends and stuff, not in terms of physical shape, because that's the year that I, that I became this stick dude, um, yeah, some eating problems. Uh, thankfully, I can eat, so don't worry about that. But here's what I came to talk about, right? So I started YouTube at like, what, 2013, 2014, something like that. I started uploading. I remember vividly uploading when I was age 15. So ever since I was like 12, 13, I always had an idea of, okay, I wonder what life is going to be in the future. When I'm 14, I'll be a freshman in high school. It's going to be pretty stressful. And that was pretty much true. 14, it might still be pretty stressful. I'm still the underclassman. So, um, yeah, I was, that was true. When I was, um, yeah, and then I became 16. I imagine 16, like, life would turn around. Things would be a little better. It was kind of true, you know? <laughs> Every day during gym, we got to play volleyball for just pure fun. No one was trying to spike each other. Um, if you were on the court that I was on, because there was like multiple courts, one was just the easy, laid-back, casual court. Kind of sound familiar? Counter Strike? That's not Counter Strike footage, but yeah, I like to play the casual mode, even even if I'm somewhat good at the competitive mode with other people. But yeah, I just like playing casually because you can have fun. You don't have to take it seriously, and you'll still do fine if you're good enough. And me, I wasn't that good, but I was able to only have to concentrate. 70% of the time while the rest of the 30 was me joking around which I enjoyed the most um wow I said that we're very weird I enjoyed the most I imagined my 18 year my 17 and 18 year old life being the end of my childhood even though some can consider 12 13 somewhere around that line the end of childhood and now you're learning to become an adult when I personally think that's true but you still have a lot of you you're still kind of laid back in life until you're about 18, because then you're legally an adult in the U.S. But, yeah, I imagine 17, like, hey, maybe I'll learn how to drive. And then 18, okay, I've definitely gotten a license by now. And if I didn't, well, I probably had a job already, at least once in my life. Or, I also imagine, on YouTube, I would have started a while ago. And, um, is it paused? Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> then I tried to imagine further on, and I was like, college... At the time, I had no idea how college would actually be like. You know, there there are probably movies with college and stuff, but everything's different. Some people told me that it's like very small. You just walk around to each class. Um, and some people live at their house still. They just go to the campus and back. You know, I didn't even know exactly how to use the word campus properly when I was like 12, 13. So, of course, I didn't. I did not imagine life very vividly after the age of 18. So 19, 20, 21, around those three, I started grouping them together in, in chunks at this point. I was like, okay, early adulthood. Okay, I'm allowed to drink. Will I drink? Probably not. That stuff kind of looks disgusting to me. And, you know, even now, um, some things just don't change. Me, personally, I don't think I would drink unless someone tricked me into it, you know. But uh, please don't trick me into that. That's kind of a that's kind of a butt move. Age 25, let's skip to 25. I imagined... Well, I imagine I would still be doing YouTube videos. By the way, this is a new video. Because I am I have my playlist of all my uploads from newest to oldest. But don't worry, I won't last that long. We're not going to be here until my first video. We're not going to... It's just background. So at around age 25... Well, I did, forgot to mention the detail that I would be doing YouTube. Well, I kind of did. But I didn't mention that I wanted to do YouTube for years. And that um, I wanted this to be like something I could sustain myself and stuff. Or something I can sustain myself enough that I could have another job at the same time. That isn't too intense, but both combined and I could get paid. That's kind of my goal right now. You know, if I get a job, hopefully it's not too intense. So that way I can do this and a, some other job. And I can, well, make enough money that I can just live and stuff. But right now, since I'm a college boy, um, I'm living off of either parents' money or I'm not making money off of this since my channel's too small. 
and YouTube, they kind of made their uh, their their minimum requirements to become a YouTube partner. Uh, they, they raised a threshold, basically, which is very, very um, upsetting at the time. Not really. I didn't really get mad. I kind of just got like, I kind of saw this coming. So now I got to work my butt off to first become eligible to get paid. And then I can do better then. I'm pretty sure if I have the first part down that I can now get paid, I'll have the rest down that I can get paid more and more to the point that I'm comfortable living with that and something else. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, sorry about that. Um, anyway, I just imagine doing this and then maybe this would become like a dream job or something or that this would be just a dream hobby, something I would have a lot of fun doing. I mean, like you already see me. If you if you watch my channel long enough, you know that I do uh, skits like that, um, gaming videos, the Cards Against Humanity, I would consider gaming because we're playing a game online, just not a video game per se except it was on a computer, so some some could argue against what I just said. So, the video stopped at the 10 minute mark again. I forgot it does that. So, apparently I was talking about me live streaming with my friends on Microsoft Paint. Well, I already went into like another subject when not realizing that this thing stopped. But, I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna just try to connect it all anyway. So, basically the point is, I imagine I would do this for many years. But then it started getting very blurry, like, what am I going to do past the age of 18? 19 is already kind of hard, at least from how old I was when I imagined my life, 13. And then I'm like, YouTube probably won't last forever, so what am I going to do? I can move on to another video, um, video platform, but are those going to last forever? Probably not, you know, like, in fact, not that many people know that Vimeo existed. If they do, they prefer going on YouTube anyway from what I can see. The only reason why I've gone into Vimeo is because a video got deleted on YouTube and they said they re-uploaded it there. That's really the only reason. <laughs> My channel, I think, will last a couple of years even if it doesn't grow. Because if it doesn't grow, I'm going to stop eventually. If it grows, I'm probably going to stop eventually, just way further in the future. But I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this, regardless of what happens. And... Um, you know, I'm probably going to get a, a job so I can actually make money because right now my channel is too small to actually make money because YouTube breaks the threshold. I need to have 1,000 um, 1, subscribers and then I have to have, I think, 40,000 views per month. And that means once I hit that threshold, I have to wait until the end of a month in order for YouTube to check me. And so it's a, it's a lot more dumb sounding. Yeah, black and white rock. I'm going to move on from my life because basically... Uh, some of you guys might not be that interested anymore because I've been spending, what, 11 minutes talking about this? Maybe more now? Let's imagine that you, the viewer, are a 15-year-old. I don't know why I, a 15. Maybe it's probably because I was really active and watching YouTube at age 15. But um, at age 15, right now, like, you're a 15, but it's still 2018. People have the iPhone XR. I think that's what it's called, the iPhone X. People don't use MP3 players anymore. They, they go on Netflix mainly. Like, I've never really seen people watch uh, TV anymore except for, like, a handful of shows. And if they're using a TV, they're not really on there to watch cable anymore. They're really just there to watch their Netflix shows or their pirated stuff. You know what I'm saying? And also music. It's usually pirated. Or it's being from um, being streamed from a streaming service like SoundCloud, Spotify, um, Bandcamp, I've heard sometimes, you know, apparently that streams, but I, I've never used it personally. You know, everyone's different. Anyway, so now imagine you're 10 years old, five years ago. Uh, this stuff just became a thing. YouTube was already big, not, but nowhere near as big as this. I like how I'm using my channel for it and just an indicator. YouTube is big now. Like, like I, that's just background. All right, so, like, YouTube was kind of big, but think about it. In terms of memes, they're very different from what, they, they were very different from what they are now. The stuff that we make fun of, ironically, in memes, it's okay if you don't know anything about meme culture, I'm almost done talking about this. That was the funniest stuff at the time. But, in terms of, like, the internet, a lot less people had internet compared to now. And, in fact, in, like, in different countries, you know, people didn't care about using internet because they never experienced it. Now it's like no one can live without it. Um, like, I'm pretty sure in 2010, that's um, that, that's when less people were all, all about stre streaming services. And why did I say 2010? 2010 is not five years ago. But, um, okay, now let's go back further in time. Now you're, now you're 10 years old. No, I already said that. Now you're, 
now you're five years old. And what year would it be? 2008, which is what I just said. So let's go back in time even more. Now, let's just go back to when you're not, the day you were born. So, that would be 2003. Everything was super different in 2003. <laughs> yeah, like, like YouTube didn't exist yet. The internet was around, but almost no one had it because no one thought it was useful except for like office work to send each other emails and stuff. And whoever had it, whoever had it for fun was mainly for gaming. World of Warcraft was all the rage, I think. Maybe, maybe World of Warcraft isn't that old. Minecraft didn't exist yet. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, Xbox 360 didn't exist. PS3, we were on the PS2 stuff. You know what I'm saying, boys? And uh, further back than that, let's let's go back another 15 years in time. So just to round things off, let's pretend that 2000 was the year you're born, just to make things easier on the math. So. 1985 yeah 1985 the internet just got started no one no one's ever heard of it except for like some people in the military the government because they they created it and they were like you know what what if we gave this to everyone the internet anyone can use it but you know they got paid for the routers or however it worked at the time um i was obviously not born this long ago but vhs was a thing no one has ever imagined a screen that's flat. No one's ever imagined a screen being this flat in their lives. Also, fake guns were probably a lot more common than were toys. Now people would probably be like, be like, oh my god, this is dangerous. Why would you play with this? Life is a lot different from the 80s. Let's go back even further. Let's go back in the 50s. No one's been on the moon. Uh, movies, a lot of the movies were in black and white still. In fact, videos in the current form hasn't really existed there was no home videos yet it's not like some guy had a camera recording themselves screwing around and if they did it was probably with expensive equipment from their job uh zombies does the concept of zombies that we know it today didn't exist yet 1900 um skyscrapers just became a thing recently uh let's see the president at the time actually who was the president at the time i just know woodrow wilson was the president during i think the end of world war ii World War II, World War One. Uh, sorry about that. Oh, a hundred years ago from now, World War One ended. November 11th this year, that was the day that they called off the war. You wanted to picture yourself some guy in a gigantic camera had to tell you to stand still for maybe 30 seconds, one minute, maybe 15 minutes, depending on how old we're talking. And um, it would just be a, a kind of grainy image of black and white on top of some silver sheets that would be covered in glass so you don't touch it and you don't get the poison from the chemicals because it was very dangerous to develop film oh and you had to develop stuff now you can just take a picture and it's right there on your screen uh 1800s let's just go back into 1600s no one no one would have imagined no one would have imagined just sitting on something going there controlling it yourself instead of having to take care of it from pooping from uh, walking off because no one imagined a horseless carriage a car a gun looked nothing like this or like those big boys. Or like a minigun. A gun was like a little musket. Maybe even older than that. Like, it might have been the size of this. But it would have looked a lot clunkier and all metallic. Well, metallic and wooden. Because, you know, metal was very expensive then. Because no one learned how to mass produce iron yet. And whoever did, it was very, very weird. You know, no one was like, let's mass produce this thing. No, it wasn't until like the late 1800s. So... And let's just go to the year zero. Um, what happened then? I can't even remember. I can't even remember off the top of my head. Vikings. Uh, people were going to war in, in what's modern day England. I don't know. The point is, time is very weird. 